Ahead on Daily Cafe, plastic surgery pitfalls. Find out how to make smart decisions when considering cosmetic work. Plus, family talk with country superstar Leanne Rimes. And the one and only Mark Russell performs live in our studio. Daily Cafe starts right now. Live from the nation's capital, this is Daily Cafe. Last year, though, boomers accounted for 2.8 million cosmetic procedures. That's 26% of all cosmetic surgery patients. Dr. Naveen Singh is co-founder and senior partner at Ivy Plastic Surgery Associates, and he joins us now with uh, ways on how to stay safe. By the way, you can also ask him your questions about plastic surgery if you have any at 1-800-528-2090. Dr. Singh, thank you for joining us. My pleasure. There are things that people should know before they go see a plastic surgeon and questions that they should ask. Where does one begin to know that they're going to a certified plastic surgeon? Um, I think it behooves all of us to do homework. Yeah. And uh, most patients, before they come to me, they've looked at my bio on the website. They've done their homework. They've looked at 10 other people. They've, they've researched your credentials. And it was just a couple of finger clicks away with Google. So I think it's important to find out about your doctor, make sure that he or she is board certified, and in particular, board certified by the American Board of Plastic Surgery, that they've gone through an accredited medical school, an accredited mm -hmm. training process, that they've passed the written bo um, board exams as well as the oral exams, and that they're credentialed in the local hospital in those procedures. Okay. But there is another board certification that a plastic surgeon can have that really isn't the correct one, right? Um, we feel very strongly that the American Board of Medical Specialties recognized board, which is the American Board of Plastic Surgery, is the, the leader in patient safety and in the, the best surgical education for their participants and getting the best results. There are other boards out there, and people can call themselves cosmetic surgeons or plastic surgeons without having gone through a full five to seven year training process. Okay, it must make you crazy wow. because right now on, on television there are all these shows mm -hmm. that glamorize cosmetic surgery. Nip and tuck and swan and mm -hmm. extreme this and extreme that. So it's mm -hmm. sort of glamorized the whole uh, notion of cosmetic surgery. Right. But if you're over 50, there, uh, it's, it's, it's not something to take lightly. There are some serious risks, are there not? There absolutely are risks with any procedure. You right. know, there's risks when we cross the street, you could get hit by a car, mm -hmm. trip and fall, get bit by a dog. And it's the same thing with plastic surgery. It is real surgery. Real surgery. And it has to be performed by real doctors. You know, and, and a plastic surgeon is not just a plastic surgeon. He or she is a surgeon. And he or she is also a doctor. And as such, is beholden to all the rules of ethics to participate in your well-being, not just your face or your nose or your breasts. But your whole self. Your whole self, including your lifestyle, including your activities, where you are, your mother, a grandmother, a, a daughter, a wife, a husband, all of those put together. And the doctor must evaluate you for your appropriateness for the medical procedure in that entire context and deliver a uh, appropriate and predictable result. And I think we should point out that in the case of Donda West, there's a, a report out there that perhaps she had an, a pre-existing condition right. and one doctor turned her away. So I, I think it's up to the doctor to say, listen, you really are not appropriate right. for this procedure and don't do it yeah. and, and heed the doctor's advice. Yeah, I think um, it behooves the patient to disclose a full medical history, but also it behooves the physician to delve into that. You know, I don't want... If I were a patient, I wouldn't want to go to a doctor who says, what do you want? Oh, great, sure, That's yep, exactly we, can, we right. can nip and tuck this. But That's says, right. what medications do you take? Do you take any herbal mm -hmm. medications that could interfere with this? Are you on any diet pills? Do you smoke? Have you, how far can you walk before getting short of breath? You know, plastic surgery typically does not add years to your life. It adds life to your years. But part of that is to make sure that it's done with the proper ethics, with patient safety first. The Hippocratic Oath is primum non nocere, first do no harm. That's exactly. So there are questions that you need to ask your doctor, right. and there are questions your doctor needs to ask you. Absolutely. And what red flags should make you run out of that doctor's office, not walk? Sure. If the, if the doctor can disclose or won't show you pictures of before and after, mm. it may signify that the patients don't get good results. Uh-huh or patients don't uh, allow their images to be shared with other patients, that they don't have the confidence in their doctor. Um, and I offer my patients, you know, my practice is right here in Washington, D.C., I offer them the opportunity to speak with my prior patients. We get them together in a mutually anonymous way so that they can ask their questions and ask them without sort of the doctor being in that conversation. Because it could be uncomfortable. It really could. We got a lot yeah. of phone calls right now. We'll take yeah. our first one. Leola from New Jersey. It's on the line. Hi, Leola. Hello. I wanted to know, 
How much did you have done in one day? Um, so your question is about how many procedures you can have done at one procedure. Um, Which is one of your, your questions is that ask about the length of surgery because you could have multiple smaller procedures. That's absolutely true. Um, there is no right answer about what the appropriate length for surgery is, but um, typically surgery should be, if it's, especially if it's going to be done on an outpatient basis, should be under six hours. And that's the limit that I typically hold myself to. And sometimes rather than doing a quote-unquote extreme makeover that's six different procedures in one day, it's better to take bite-sized pieces. So mm -hmm. one, one or two procedures that take four or five hours, and then at a separate session, once the patient has appropriately recuperated, having those other procedures. What I think is interesting is that not all of cosmetic surgery is actually done in a hospital. Sometimes it's done in the doctor's office. Is That's that true. safe? Um, you know, the hospital is a great place if you're sick. But it's also, it also can be a bad place if you're not sick. You can get nosocomial infections, and we've all heard about the superbug, et cetera. Mm -hmm. So office-based surgery is very safe and is very predictable, but that facility should be accredited and uh, certified. It should be certified to the same level of capacity as a hospital. And sometimes that more intimate setting can be a very predictable and safe environment, but it must be an accredited facility. And very as a important. member of the American Society of Plastic Surgeons, we all pledge to operate only in accredited facilities. Very good. Debbie from Maryland is on the line. Hi, Debbie. Hi. Good afternoon. Hi. I had a question. Do you have to factor in additional healing time if you're a certain age? Um, healing can vary greatly from people. Mm -hmm. uh, some young people may take longer to heal, and some older individuals may heal just incredibly robustly, like teenagers, or et cetera. So there's a great deal of variability. And um, I think an overall medical assessment of the patient's conditions is important. Um, but people should give themselves the appropriate time to recover. You yes. know, I'm fond of saying that time isn't of the essence. We are of the essence. We sure. deserve to have that time off to allow ourselves to heal properly and not just be in that crazy rush that we all always are. Absolutely. Dr. Thanks, Singh, Dr. thank Singh. you so much for being here with us today. Great information.